Come on down and get some blood points, everybody. Hello, Murder Mittens. Hello, Tweety. Hello, Mojo. We did it. We sure did. We went over the 35 million mark. 35.6 million, which means every game from now until 11 a.m. Montreal time on Sunday morning is going to be five times blood points. An extra 400%. Of your base score. We did it. Only made about 300k. It wasn't that great. Okay, well, we'll come back when you're crying in your beer that you're only getting 20k a game <laughs> when all this is gone. Hey, Kaz, how's it going? Second, sorry, men's. I gotta, I gotta spend some of these points before I do anything because I'm gonna be like up against the cap in an instant. So let me, uh, let me just go on killer and spend some of this off really quick. So, uh, we had been there before. But like I said, it's been like six years. And it's the same host. The guy's been doing it for 20 years. I think he was like an Entertainment Tonight correspondent. And he's done a few game shows. Bite you. He's done a few game shows himself. Um, on TV. Like he did Whammy, the all new Pressure Luck. And he did Hollywood Showdown. And, uh, Family Game Night. He did a few different hosting duties on regular TV. His name's Todd Newton. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's a good show. And uh, my son had a great time. So we were sitting there, and it's me, and then my son is on my left, and my wife is on his left. So my, sandwich, my son is like sandwiched between the two of us. And so it gets to be about the time Bob was a great person so I'm inclined to believe it yeah for sure for sure so it gets to be about time for the show to start and there's two empty seats on my left and I'm like oh okay are these people not gonna be here am I gonna have like a little leg room because it's in a it's in a theater like it's you know it's an old theater so it's not like you're going to like the deluxe movie theater where everything is spacious and stuff it's kind of height you know it's like on they pack you in like airplane seats, right? So The audience members for the two empty seats on my right Yeah, no leg room. Oh my god. I like Stepped on this old lady's foot trying to get to my seat like they put you on They stack you like sardines on top of each other and you can barely get squeezed by if somebody's in the seat to reach your seat Stepped on her foot. I felt bad so anyway, the two people, two women come who are in like the seats beside me and the woman beside me is plastered. And I'm like, oh no, what's gonna happen here? <laughs> and I don't really, I don't really do well around drunk people. Like I don't mind if somebody drinks, but if they get drunk, I just like I'm kind of shut down. I don't really like having conversations with people because I don't really feel like they have any meaning because I don't think anything's getting through to the frontal lobe when that much alcohol is involved. I just don't like being around drunk people at all. It's like a, a super, super pet peeve for me. I, I just really don't like it. So she's pretty drunk and we're like just starting. <laughs> and so she says, Oh, we have these shirts done up. We had these shirts done up for the show, right? It says, uh, I bid one dollar. Sorry, not sorry, right? We had our own special shirts, and she's like, Oh my gosh, where did you get your shirts made? You're totally gonna get picked. You have special shirts. You're gonna get picked for sure. And I'm like, holy fuck. Why is this my life? So she was friendly enough, you know, she wasn't like a mean drunk or an ornery drunk, but she was like an overly friendly drunk, you know? And so we're waiting for the show to start, and then suddenly she sits up straight and she goes, Neil Diamond, and I'm like, what? Where? What is she talking about? Well, her Neil Diamond spidey senses were tingling, and she heard the, the first bars of a Neil Diamond song that they were entertaining the audience with, and I was like, uh-oh. Am I in for what I think I'm in for? 
and suddenly it started to turn into a Red Sox baseball game with Sweet Caroline. So she's here beside me. She's like, Sweet Caroline. Ba, ba, ba. But I'm like, holy fuck, why is this happening to me? What the fuck is going on, man? <laughs> <laughs> At least she wasn't a belligerent drunk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She was a happy drunk. She was a happy-go-lucky, friendly drunk for sure. <sighs> and so then she goes, is that your special seat? And I'm like, what? And she goes, your name's on your seat. And I'm like, what? And I look down in the, this tiny wooden armrest between our two seats. It has an embedded plaque with a fellow's name on it, which I guess at some point, like people donated to sponsor the theater and refurbish the, the theater. And they told them, if you donate money, we're going to put your name on a seat. So this was Jack's seat, Jack, whatever his name was. And she goes, is your name Jack? Your name's on your seat. And I'm like, no. And I'm like, do you have a name on your seat? What's your name? Yeah, so she was just like special. She was special. And so then the the guy comes out to warm up the crowd and everything. He was funny. All, all the people who worked on the show, the the uh, announcer and the host were really great. And then they say, okay, so when we pick your name to come up on stage, we want you to show a lot of enthusiasm. <laughs> and they say, here's what I mean, just to give you some examples. So they throw it to this video screen that we can all see of just people like losing their shit when they get picked on the prices, right? Like they're like, oh my God! And they're like, this is what we want to see you do when you get picked. And they show a video of a man doing the worm down the aisle to get to his, to contestants row on the prices, right? He's doing the worm. This woman takes her two hands and she grabs my arm and she's shaking me like this. I don't know this woman, right? She puts her two hands around my arm and she's shaking me like this. She goes, you're gonna have to do that. You're gonna have to do that. <laughs> I'm like, oh, help me. Somebody help me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and then they show somebody doing backflips down the aisle. I'm like, you're gonna have to do that. You know, just like, uh, my. <laughs> they didn't call my name. They didn't call my name. So, I'm looking at my wife, and she's looking at me, and uh, I'm just giving her the side eye. And afterwards, she's like, so you took one for the team there. I'm like, I totally took one for the team there. <laughs> I got the the 4DX features. You started should have started drinking too. Oh man. I have low tolerance for drunks. I mean, I know like that this is my son's Super Bowl, so I can't fuck around. You know, I can't make a scene or I just have to cuz he was so 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 happy. He had the greatest time. He had the greatest time. He really did. I'm, I'm so happy for him. How's Blessing Hexes going? You know what? I haven't thought about going back to those achievements in a while. He had such a good time. Such a good time. Oh, and so then they had a, a QR code that said, if you want to sign up for the VIP package to spin the wheel after the end of the show, zap the QR code and pay for the add-on, and then you can spin the wheel at the end of the show. So I take my wife's like, do you know how to do that? And I said, yeah, I know how to do that. I got a QR code reader on my phone. So I zapped it with the QR code reader. And we did this six years ago and he got to do it. And it cost 20 bucks, maybe 25 bucks for him to spin the wheel. And uh, well, this year it was $175. <laughs> Yeah. I was like, what? <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> Excuse me? 
And so uh, my wife said, well, how much is it? And I said, it's 120, 125 bucks. And I go, plus tax, so it's 135. And I said, and that's all US dollars. So, you know, it's gonna be like another $40 minimum on top of that for the exchange rate. Oh, really? I got hit through that? I'm a little surprised, honestly. So, uh, so I said, she goes, well, do you care? I said, no, I don't care. And like, I know he wants, he wants to do it. And it's like his dream come true. But, uh, you know, I just want you to know how much it is. So that you can make an informed decision. She goes, well, I don't care how much it is. I know he wants to do it. And I said, yeah, that's fine. I just want you to be aware that that's what the... The asking price is. Damn. Yeah, it was a lot. So we got that done, and then like you know, for that for that price, for hundred and seventy five dollars, we don't all need to spin the wheel, so we just need it for him, right? So at the end of the show, they're like, everybody, okay, everybody, get out. I'm like, well, we have this thing that we do at the end. And they go, well, where's your green pass? And I said, well, I don't know. They didn't. Get, we did it online, like in the lobby. We didn't do it ahead of time. We don't have a green pass. And so then this guy comes over and he goes, did you pay for this experience? This is an extra. And I said, yeah, we did it in the lobby. And he says, do you, what, do you have any proof? And I go, I got an email that my, I was charged for it. And he says, okay, he says, well, I don't have any record of you. So let me see the receipt with the name on it. And I said, well, here's the receipt. And I said, it's in my wife's name because it's her credit card that I put it on but like we're giving the the experience to our son here. So he says, okay, well, here's the pass. So he gives us the one green pass for him. He goes, technically you two aren't even supposed to be here without the green pass. You're supposed to be gone, but I'll let you stay. And I'm like, well, thank you. You gonna let me stay with my son here in the building? Well, thank you. So then, uh, so then my wife's taking a picture of the stage and he, then he comes down and he goes, hey, hey, hey. He goes, okay, I'm letting you stay here without your green pass, no more photos. You get one photo that I take on your phone when he comes up there to spin it and that's it, no video. One photo that I'm taking and that's all you're gonna get. And I'm like, okay, I'm like thinking, fuck man, this is like super serious. When we did this six years ago, we took video of it and everything. Like for $175, all I get is one still photo on a cell phone. Like, are you serious? <clears throat> and so then I'm like, so my wife's like, we're not going to get video of this. And I go, yeah, I guess not. And so I'm trying to think how I can like turn my phone on and have it record and just be like in my pocket and then pretend like I'm not recording, you know? And so the security guard then comes over to me and goes, where's your green pass? And I said, my son has a green pass. We're here with him. I said, the man on the stage who's running the show said we could be here. Go ask him if you don't believe me. And so she's like, okay, okay, just double checking. I said, yeah, I get it. So then uh, there were people who were going up as couples, right? Like husband and wife. And so they hand their phone for the guy to take a picture of them with the wheel. Meanwhile, their spouse is, is videoing them, right? So I'm like, well, this is squirrely. They're getting video. And so then when they swapped and uh, the husband and wife swapped places, and then let's say, you know, the wife spun first and the husband took video of her and they swapped. Well, then when the husband is spinning then the wife's doing video of him so they're both doing video so i'm like well they're doing video and i didn't say you know i didn't complain to the guy but i'm just saying to my wife look they're doing video and then another two people up and went up and they did video of each other i'm like this is kind of horse shit if he's not gonna let us take video when they're taking video of each other so then when it was my son's turn he comes over and he goes i'll tell you what i'm gonna let you come up on the stage with him and you can do video of him and i'll take the picture on the other phone and i was like cool thank you so i got video of him doing it which i felt like you know you know i guess it wasn't supposed to happen like that whatever 
but I'm glad that he let us do it. I don't know. I'm like, why is this such a big deal? You know, what? Would you keep in some Price is Right secret integrity here that can't be videotaped? Like, this isn't. This can't. This be part of our experience with the video? Yeah, the whole family did pay for green cards. They, that's what my wife said. She said, well, they both have green cards. I said, I don't care. He told us no video, right? So, like, if our son has the green card, he should be able to get a video of his experience. They're getting video of each other's experience, right? So, anyway, he relented, and I didn't complain. He just, like, offered it up out of the blue before it got to that point. And I was like, well, thank God. Do, 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 do. And the host was real nice. The the lady who got picked to play Plinko, you know, it's totally random. But turned out she was the uh, she ran a, a homeless shelter, and she got to play Plinko. And then for some reason, the Plinko chips kept getting stuck. Like, they just stop dead in their tracks. And he kept having to give her back the chip. And it was like five times in a row. I don't know if she did, was just wasn't putting enough inertia on the chips or if they were just sticky chips or what. But he kept having to hand it back to her. And like after the fifth time of it getting stuck, he said, you know what? And he just put it right in, in the middle for the largest dollar amount which really isn't even that big. It isn't even that big of money. Like the most money you can win is $500 on one chip. So the maximum you can win is $2,500 Canadian. But they're not making everybody rich on this show, right? So he was just like, you know what? Forget it. $500 chip for you. Are we gonna get a blood point hunt? This is the blood point hunt. We're getting five times every game right now. That, that This is better than your blood point hunt. This is the biggest blood point hunt you've ever seen. Blood Moon boosted. Yeah, they did the, uh, come on, let me do this. They did the, um, the cliffhangers. They did that game too. It's, it's pretty low ball, you know, nobody's nobody's getting rich over there So basically at the showcase showdown they said okay, you're bidding on a car a trip for two to Rome a trip to for two to Las Vegas plus a Samsung television package and you have to determine the price of that and they're like whoever comes the closest without going over wins the trip for two to Las Vegas. <laughs> we're like, what about this car and this trip for Rome and all this shit you've been showing us? Like, you win that <coughs> if you get within within a hundred dollars of the the actual retail price of everything. If you can come to within a hundred dollars, we'll give you everything. <laughs> so what are the odds of that? Mm -mm 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 -mm. Cake time if you got them. 289,000 blood points. The price is wrong. So the one lady, remember, there's a car, a trip for two to Rome, a trip for two to Vegas, and a Samsung television package, TV with a, a surround sound system, right? 
and the and this is Canadian dollars, and the woman says twenty five thousand dollars. I'm like, damn, the car is twenty five thousand dollars. How? How? And then the other uh, the other person said like forty two thousand, and I was like, well, that's more reasonable. And then they said it was 35k. I'm like, how's the car and the trip to Rome? How's how's this 35k? Are you trying to make both people go over so you don't have to give out this this trip for two to Vegas? I'm like, are they are they traveling with the luggage in the plane to Rome? Like how how how? I don't know. So anyway, the woman who bid what I thought was the low ball loser bid at 35 uh, 25 thousand dollars, she won. But she only won the trip to Vegas because she wasn't within a hundred dollars of the value of everything. Do do do. There was one guy who won a trip to Costa Rica on the cliffhanger game. That was fun. And the lady on Plinko, even though he gave her the five hundred dollar chip, uh, she only won a thousand. And she had all five chips. This was the Price Is Right live. So my son got this lanyard. He got one six years ago too. The one six years ago was bigger. This has the year on it at least, so he knows what it's from. The other one just says uh, Price is Right Live and it says VIP on it. This one says, I spun the big wheel. So, no, no, it's not actually a, a televised. Twinkle Jimmy. Yeah, but it's it's a, a traveling stage show that goes from town to town. It's not the uh, do you want to play? It's not the um, it's not the TV show. So it's you know, it's low budget, low budget, but it's still fun, still fun. It's a Jen Rush life for us. It's a Jen Rush life for us. Set a hiding, we do gens. Set a randoms, we got friends. It's a Jen Rush life.